everyone welcome to my channel today i am going to show you how can you install dhcp server as a cluster as you can show in the topology we have a two domain controller i will be install the install dhcp server on these domain controllers and also i have a one client i set as one static ip and for another the interface with the DHCP enabled okay let's to install at the first we are trying to DC1 install DHCP server on DC1 at the manage you can click on the add row also next don't touch anything and next at this section we have to select DHCP server and also add a feature click on the next don't touch anything next and next when you try to install this server your server does not restart it so you don't want to check this checkbox and click on the install I'm also try to install DHCP server on another domain controller as a DC2. We are going to doing the same process as described earlier. Select DHCP server. Next. Install okay i'm waiting to installation completed and this is my client pc let me show the interfaces that's static into ip signed interface i'm trying to create a rdp session to this client and for interfaces as a DHCP enabled let me release these IPs if you want to remove any DHCP IPs from your client you can use IP on release with this command all of the DHCP IPs will be removed let me show you Okay, all of them remove. Great. Come back to the DC one. Okay, installation completed. Uh, I have, because our <coughs> server is joining to the domain, we have to one more step, and that's here. Next and. At this section, use the administrator credential or another administrator domain admin credential you can use here. Click on the commit. Done. Okay, for DC1, installation completed. Let me check the DC2. Okay, DC2, we have the same step here. Commit. Okay. No, that time we are going to configure DHCP server. As you can see, DHCP coming here. Open the DHCP manager. And also on another domain controller, I open the DHCP manager to put this here. You can see the ACB server running, but we don't have any scope here. And also we don't have any scope here. I'm trying to create a new scope for IP uh, V4. Click on the new scope. Next, at this section, uh, tell something about this scope. That's my lab environment start and end ip
that's based on your requirement you can change them uh, because this is a test environment i use 10 ip and at the bottom we have to set the subnet of the DHCP server click on the next this is exclusion <coughs> section with this section you can exclude some IP addresses to avoid giving to the client we don't need one at that, at that time and lease, lease duration uh, this section you can set how long the DHCP, uh, DHCP clients uh, can hold that IP well, that's default 8 day and also configure another settings for the DHCP server as the example uh, default gateway and DNS servers okay default gateway as you can see we set uh, default gateway to the client click on the add this section DNS servers because uh, this machine is joining to the domain uh, we also can see DNS IP address here but you can add any IP here for example at this time we don't need this win server I don't use that okay activate this scope now and click this and finish at this time on DC1 we have configured DHCP server and DHCP for IPv4 running and also I have one scope here but as you can see in DC2 we don't have any scope but I want to make a cluster with these DHCP servers for doing that right click on IPv4 and configure failover so <clears throat> Failover, uh, failover into at this section. We can see the scopes here. As you can see, we have just one scope. But if you have another scopes, you can see them. If you want to check, if you want to replicate just one scope, you can uncheck the select all and select that scope. Click on the next. At the partner server, we can see the another service, but because we don't have added to, to the list, we, we can see that from the add server. I write the name of the another server, DC2. Okay, next. In the relationship name, you can use any desired. Uh, name for example dc1 dc1 dc2 don't touch to the maximum client lead time and mode is load balancing we have another mode hot standby with the load balancing all dhcp servers i uh, act as active active but with the hot span hot standby uh, you can use one DHCP as an active and another DHCP server as a standby. I use a load balance and also you can change the uh, load balancing percentage here. For example, local server, you can use something like that. And I'll see partner servers, then six. We, also, we always use 50-50. Okay, shared secret for encryption the message between the DHCP server. You can use any password here. Click on the next. Finish. Okay, as you can see, all of these steps have success result. So I'm going to DC2 and click on the refresh. As you can see, another scopes come here. That's great. Both of them are working. So I'm going to client and enable the interface.
check the IP. Okay, we don't have an IP. I'm disabled and enabled the DA interface. Disable, enable. Disable. Enable. Disable. Enable. Disable. Let's check the IP. Okay. DHCP server 133. Another IP. 133. Another. 132. One three two. As you can see, both DHCP servers acting as active, and some of the interface get the IP from the DC one, and another get the IPs from the DC two. You can check the address leases. Try and refresh. Yes. Let's. Another important option here when you try to change something, for example, in the scope option. I'm trying to add a NTP here. I added this option here, but from at the another DHCP server, I can't find that. Let me show you. As you can see, that's not seen here, shown here. For solving this problem, when you try to change something in the DHCP server, after changing on one server, you have to right click on V4, IPv4, and replicate, replicate failover scopes. Click on that and click on the OK. OK, successfully replicated to another DC. Try to check again. Yes! As you can see, time server comes to you. At this time, <clears throat> if any of the DHCP server getting down, the DHCP function does not stop and serving to the serving IPs to the client. Uh, that's it. Don't forget to join my channel. Have a good day. Bye bye.